Welcome back to the BFG. So we have just met the blood bottler. He came into the BFG's cave and he was very rude to him. And Sophie had a near miss experience. She actually ended up in the blood bottler's mouth and somehow she still survived. Um, and at the end of the chapter, she said she was going to help the BFG find a way to make the giants disappear. Apparently the giants were going to be going to England to eat children that night. So will we find out next if they come up with a plan or not? So our next chapter is called Frobscottle and Whizpoppers. By now, Sophie was beginning to feel not only extremely hungry, but very thirsty as well. Had she been at home, she would have finished her breakfast long ago. Are you sure there's nothing else to eat around here except those disgusting, smelly snoz cumbers? she asked. Not even a fizzwinkle, answered the big friendly giant. In that case, may I please have a little water? she said. Water? said the BFG, frowning mightily. What is water? We drink it, Sophie said. What do you drink? Frob Scottle, announced the BFG. All giants is drinking Frob Scottle. Is it as nasty as your snozcumbers? Sophie asked. Nasty, cried the BFG. Never is it nasty. Frob Scottle is sweet and jubbly. He got up from his chair and went to a second huge cupboard. He opened it and took out a glass bottle that must have been six feet tall. The liquid inside it was pale green and the bottle was hot. Here is Frobscottle, he cried, holding the bottle up proud and high, as though it contained some rare wine. Delumptious, fizzy Frobscottle, he shouted. He gave it a shake and the green stuff began to fizz like mad. But look, it's fizzing the wrong way, Sophie cried. And indeed it was. The bubbles, instead of travelling upwards and bursting at the surface, were shooting downwards and bursting at the bottom. The pale green frothy fizz was forming at the bottom of the bottle. What on earth is she meaning the wrong way? asked the BFG. In our fizzy drink, Sophie said, the bubbles always go up and burst at the top. Upwards is the wrong way, cried the BFG. You mustn't ever ha be having a the bubbles going upwards. That is the most flush bunking rubbish I ever is hearing. Why do you say that? Sophie asked. You was asking me why? cried the BFG, waving the enormous bottle around as though he were conducting an orchestra. You is actually meaning to tell me you cannot see why? It is a scrotty mistake to have the bubbles flying up instead of down. You said it was flush bunking, now you're saying it's scrotty. Which is it? Sophie asked politely. Both, cried the BFG. It is a flush bunking and a scrotty mistake to let the bubbles go upwards. If you can't see why, you must be a quacky as a duck cut hound. My Ringo, your head must be so full of frog squinkers and buzz wanglers. I is frittered if I know how you can think at all. Why shouldn't the bubbles go upwards? Sophie asked. I will explain, said the BFG. But tell me first, what's Name is you calling your frog scottle by? One is Coke, said Sophie. Another is Pe Pepsi. There are lots of them. And the bubbles is all going up? They all go up, Sophie said. Catastrous, cried the BFG. Outgoing bubbles is a catastrophe. Catastrophe disastrophe. Will you please tell me why? Sophie said. If you will listen carefully, I will try to explain, said the BFG, but your brain is so full of bug whiffles, I doubt you will ever understand. I'll do my best, Sophie said patiently. Very well, then. When you is drinking this cokey drink of yours, said the BFG, it is going straight down into your tummy. Is that right or is that left? It's right, Sophie said. And the bubbles is going also into your tummy, right or left? Right again, said Sophie. And the bubbles is fizzing upwards. Of course, said Sophie. 
Which means, said the BFG, that they will all come swish swivelling up your throat and out of your mouth and make a thousand belty burp. That, that is often true, Sophie said. But what's wrong with a little burp now and again? It's sort of fun. Burping is filthy, said the, the BFG. Us giants is never doing it. But with your drink, Sophie said, what do was it you called it? What was it you called it? Frobscottle, said the BFG. With Frobscottle, Sophie said, the bubbles in your tummy will be going downwards and it could have a far nastier result. Why nasty? asked the BFG, frowning. Because, said Sophie, blushing a little, if they go down instead of up, they'll be coming out somewhere else and an even louder and ruder noise. Papa cried the BFG, beaming at her. Us giants is making whiz poppers all the time. Whiz popping is a sign of happiness. It is music in our ears. You surely is not telling me that a little whiz popping is forbidden among giants, among human beings. It is considered extremely rude, said Sophie. But you is whiz popping, is you not, now and again? asked the BFG. Everyone is whiz popping, if that's what you call it, Sophie said. Kings and queens are whiz popping. Presidents are whiz popping. Glamorous film stars are whiz popping. Little babies are whiz popping. But where I come from, it is not polite to talk about it. Ridiculous, said the BFG. If everyone is making whiz poppers, then why not talk about it? We is now having a squiggle of this delicious Scotton and you will see the happy result. The BFG shook the bottle vigorously. The pale green stuff fizzed and bubbled. He removed the cork and took a tremendous gargling swig. So let's have a look. This is what it looks like. And the BFG looks very happy. It's gummy, he cried. I love it. For a few moments, the big friendly giant stood quite still and a look of absolute ecstasy began to spread over his long wrinkly face. Then suddenly the heavens opened and he let fly with a series of the loudest and rudest noises Sophie had ever heard in her life. They reverberated around the walls of the cave like thunder and the glass jars rattled on their shelves. But most astonishingly of all, the force of the explosions actually lifted the enormous giant clear off his feet like a rocket. Whoopee! he cried when he came down to earth again. Now that is whiz popping for you. Sophie burst out laughing. She couldn't help it. Have some yourself, cried the BFG, tipping the neck of the enormous bottle towards her. Don't you have a cup, Sophie said. No cups, only a bottle. Sophie opened her mouth and very gently the BFG tipped the bottle forward and poured some of the fabulous frobscottle down her throat. And oh gosh, how delicious it was. It was sweet and refreshing. It tasted of vanilla and and cream with just the faintest trace of raspberries on the edge of the flavour and the bubbles were wonderful. Sophie could actually feel them bouncing and bursting all around her tummy. It was an amazing sensation. It felt as though hundreds of tiny people were dancing a jig inside her and tickling her with their toes. It was lovely. It's lovely, she cried. Just wait, said the BFG flapping his ears. Sophie could feel the bubbles travelling lower and lower down her tummy and then suddenly, inevitably, the explosion came. The trumpet sounded and she too made the walls of the cavern ring with the sound of music and thunder. Bravo! shouted the BFG waving the bottle. You is very good for a beginner. Let's have some more! And there we have the, bar, um, the BFG flying up while he's doing some whiz popping. So, Sophie and the BFG were having a discussion about what is worse, a burp or a fizz popper that comes out the other end. So, what do you think?
is worse. She she said that a, a fizz popper is more rude than um, a burp. Is one of them worse than the other, or are they both rude? And neither of them rude? What do you think? Okay, so let's see what's going to happen next time.